What's up everybody, Jason with HOJ Forge. Just wanted to give you a, a quick little shop update here uh, about what's going on um, inside HOJ Forge. So, here we go. First and foremost, I don't know if uh, the finished hammer got put on the uh, the last video with uh, Dave McConnell, but there she is. Uh, made the handle from a hunk of hickory, and here's my new three and a half pound. Comes out at uh, three pounds, three pounds eight ounces. Yeah, exactly three and a half pounds uh, for the hammer head, which is exactly what I wanted. So that's really awesome. Here, how about this? When I was uh, at the the wood shop um, getting the hickory I was talking to the lady about uh, you know do you ever get anything exotic in anything really cool and she said eh, not very often but we can order it and then she ran in the back and grabbed this out of the scrap pile this is lace wood I don't know much about it I think it grows in South America but uh, she found a couple of scraps like that I'm thinking if I play my cards right I should be able to get three at least two maybe three knife handles out of that so that's really cool uh, one of the other things I did uh, I invested in a big contact wheel for my grinder. This was, it was supposed to be a 10 inch uh, smooth wheel. They ran out of the 10 inch smooth wheel so they sent me a 12 inch smooth wheel in its stead. Um, I don't know enough about contact wheels to um, know what the difference is going to be between a 10 and a 12 inch. So, hey, we'll use it. We'll have some fun with it and that'll be cool. I can do some hollow grinds now. So that leads to what else I did to my grinder. Um, me being me, I can never let well enough sit and be. Um, and here I am, those of you in the know, know I might need my shop running at full efficiency coming up sometime soon. Um, and I'm not going to go into details. But uh, while I was getting that contact wheel fitted, in my head I was thinking, I've never liked this flat, platen attachment. I made it, and I've hated it since day one. I've made it work for the last two and a half years or whatever it's been. Uh, can't stand it. So I'm going to redo it right now. And it took me about three days of planning and four days of actual building. Um, I couldn't get the wheels to track right. But uh, in the end, I went from having the wheels... And the platen attached to this, I want to say, 3 sixteenths piece of steel that uh, was never very stable or anything. And then I, I went and I took in, made a frame out of um, some inch and a half tube with 3 sixteenths walls. Uh, got the wheels mounted to that. There was a whole thing because that, that this platen over here um, was never quite straight. This bottom wheel was it lost its um it wasn't true anymore one side was was a good eighth of an inch maybe even up to a quarter of an inch thinner than the other side and so i had to without a lathe figure out how to grind that down i ended up uh, taking a file i tried it in the drill press putting it on uh you know bolting it into a long bolt and putting the bolt up here into the chuck and having it hang down but this drill press is so old and janky, um, it was wobbling too much, it wasn't going to be true. And so what I ended up doing was uh, just leaving it on its normal axle bolt, really, and just taking a file and filing it down. And as I did, the file would spin the bearing. And so after about two hours of late filing, I got, I got the sides evened up. So that was fun. But um, last night, after just mess, I've adjusted and readjusted and shimmed and this and that. Hey, look at my tracking wheel. Look at how I've got this shimmed out from here. This is the only bolt I had, so I had to put shims on here to get the nuts to fit. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I had to readjust everything. I moved the drive wheel over a whole inch. And, I mean, it was just a, a whole ton of playing and fiddling and uh, got it all done and the thing works better than ever. It was one of those, last night I was questioning, why the heck did I do this? I need my shop in perfect working order. And I went and I, I did this and um, I was questioning it all. And then when I finally got it working right, it is working right. And, yeah, it's still ugly. Still a heap of a grinder. But she works perfectly, so can't be happier about that.
All right, the rest of it. Uh, I've rearranged things a little bit. Um, everything is still a bit of a mess. There's my main workbench, which <laughs> after all the grinder stuff last night, uh, I still haven't got the tools put away from that. But uh, I've rearranged a lot of stuff um, all to, to make things more efficient and in order to uh, be able to fire up the propane forge inside during the cold winter days um, so that I can still have something to forge and to be able to finally start offering some classes. If there's one thing I'm asked about constantly, whether it's uh, through Facebook comments or uh, even um, you know video comments, and a lot in person uh, when I'm at the shows and stuff, is do you give lessons? A, do you take apprentices? And B, if not, do you take lessons? No, I don't take apprentices. I'm just a part-time hack. Um, so there's no, there's no business here to really have an apprentice to. I come out and forge when I feel like coming out and forging. I wouldn't be, wouldn't be a good master to an apprentice. Um, even if I had the knowledge, my hours here are just kind of so goofy. Um, but then the other one always came up to you offer classes, and I never have just because it's. Yeah, my garage is a stinking mess. It's embarrassingly messy. Um, which, in my mind, means unsafe. And so my whole goal here is to get everything cleaned up um, to where I can actually have people in here to forge with me and start offering some basic blacksmithing classes. And, you know, I'm, I'm thinking maybe do some basic blacksmithing classes and uh, basic knife-making classes. Um and I just got to come up with the pricing and the curriculum and all that. But um, hopefully by spring, I'll be ready to go with the classes. So that's really cool. Oh, I put some much brighter lights in, too. You see that halo around my head? It's, I, I put some really good light bulbs in here so then I can finally work well at night. Um, but that's going to be it, I think. Those are all the major updates. And, um, yeah, I've got a video that I'm going to be uh, filming right now on how to forge these knife tongs that I absolutely think are the cat's meow. So uh, I will catch you next time, next shop update. Otherwise, check out the next video. You're going to love it.